Now, Andrea, we want to get some of your thoughts on women in the workplace and particularly um, women in leadership positions. What would you say is the biggest institutional obstacle to women in leadership positions? I have a different perspective on that. Um, you know, at New York Presbyterian, when you look at our executive team, we have a great representation of women at the highest echelons of leadership in our hospital. And um, we're very fortunate that way. So uh, more so than any organization I've ever been at. So at New York Presbyterian, I don't look at it that way. Like, what do I have to do as a woman? It's about talent. And it doesn't matter whether you're male or female. And I think we're, we're really focused on that. And when you look at our executive vice president of the hospital, uh, the, the COO of all of New York Presbyterian is a woman. The chief financial officer is a woman. The chief uh, legal counsel is a woman. Um, the chief communications officer is a woman. I, I can keep going on and on. Um, chief operating officers of campuses of hospital are women. Um, heads of the hospital are women. We see women in the chiefs of service, the different service lines. Um, it, it's, it's fascinating for me. Um, I, I've always been very blessed, whether it was Johnson & Johnson or Avon, which is the company for women, that's their tagline. I, as a woman, have never felt that I was being held down in any way. So I, I'm very blessed that way. And, you know, I'm very proud of New York Presbyterian. Like I said, when you look at the makeup of our executive team, I'm very proud of the representation of women. And it's, yeah. it's taken very seriously, and we make sure that, you know, do we have the right representation and building that very inclusive environment. And it's interesting, I went to an all-women's college, so I was always very focused on this. Um, you know, it was something that was important for me. I haven't really felt that in my career. Mm -hmm. And I've, I've had amazing female role models, whether it was at J&J &J or here at New York Presbyterian. Um, they're just incredible female leaders who take the time to nurture that and share their experience and mentor other women. It's not been something that's that I felt like I've had to deal with that much. I've been very, for, I realize I'm very fortunate and I realize a lot of people may not have the same experience as me, but um, we've got some great, great women role models at, at New York Presbyterian.